Welcome to our tutorial about if statements. If statements evaluate expressions. If the expression is true, the code within the if statement is executed. Otherwise, the code within that statement is skipped. Here's my first text box for our first integer. This text box is for our operator, and the last text box is for our second integer. The result is going to display in label LBL1. Back to my code, we've got three variables here initialized via the corresponding text properties of the text boxes. Now let's type some code. If the variable STROP equals a minus sign. I put that in double quotations. Then, and when I press the Enter key, Visual Basic finishes typing the statement for me. It provides an end for the if statement. Now we've got a beginning and the end. Next, we need some code inside the if statement. Let's enter LBL1. dot text equals integer a minus integer b. Notice my spacing. Now let's review and see what happens here. If this expression is true, then this line of code will execute. If this expression is false, Visual Basic is going to skip this line of code. Let's run our application and see how it works. We'll enter 3 minus 2. And here is our correct result 1. Let's change the operator. Let's add 2 to 3. Nothing happens. Okay, let's right click, copy and paste our if statement we're going to add to this simple program. Now we've got two if statements. In the second if statement, I'm going to replace the minus sign operator with a plus sign. Now 3 minus 2 still gives us the result of 1. And we can also add 3 plus 2. We get a correct result of 5. We're also able to combine these two if statements. Let's do that. And let me review what I've done. If the string operator equals a minus sign, then this line of code will execute. If this expression is false, the if statement will go to its next branch, else and then line 13 will be executed. Let's run our program and see how it works. 2 minus 2 equals 0. Let's try adding those two numbers equals 4. Back to our code. Let's make some additional modifications. We're going to right click and copy and paste our if statement. Let's change our operator to a plus symbol and add one more else branch. Did you notice that when I pressed enter, Visual Basic automatically aligned this block of code? This lets us easily see where the if statement starts and ends. Here we have else lbl1 dot text equals please enter plus or minus. We need that within double quotations. Let's review what will happen now. If the first expression is true, line 11 will be executed. If it's false, then Visual Basic goes to line 12, the first else statement. If line 12 is true, the else statement, then line 13 will execute.
If the second expression is false, then the text property of LBL1 will display a please enter a plus or minus symbol label. Let's run the program and see how it works. 2 minus 2, we get 0. 2 plus 2 equals 4. Now let's change our operator to a multiplier, an asterisk. The message appears, please enter a plus or a minus symbol. At this point, I'm going to pause my recording of this video for a moment to type in some additional code. OK, welcome back. Let's interpret my additional script here. We've got another if statement inside the first if statement. Let's check out how the statements go in steps. Basically, what I've done is incorporate the input box function into the if statement. Now, when the block of code under the else statement executes, the input box window will pop up asking us to enter a plus or minus symbol. The default value stored is a plus symbol. The return value will be stored in the string operator. The next if statement will evaluate this value against the minus sign. If this expression is true, then lines 18 and 19 will be executed. Else, these two lines of code will be executed. Let's run and see how it works. 2 plus 2 equals 4. Let's change our operator to a multiplier and asterisk. We have our input box asking us to enter a plus or minus symbol with the plus symbol appearing by default in the operator text box. And our correct value is displayed. And this concludes our tutorial about if statements.